Tolly here from Your Past is a Gift. Okay, so in the last two weeks, I've had an amazing, amazing breakthrough. You know, because for the longest time since I was a child, I couldn't regain that happiness, that joy, that freedom that I used to experience as a child. And I've had that yearning for so, so long. How do I get that back? How did I lose it? Where did it go? You know, you turn into an adult and all of a sudden it's all hard work and it's all too hard. You know, everything seems like, you know, there's no joy in it. There's no peace like we used to have as children. That was the end of the day and that was it. It was done. We were on to the next day. We didn't carry things on for weeks and weeks and months and months. This dread of something that might happen. And it's just been a blessing. You know, I just stumbling upon this book and I haven't, honestly, I think I'm on page 100 at the moment of this book. I haven't even, because I read the pages over and over. I'll read the paragraphs over and over of this book called the power of now and every time I read it it's just it's like a new magic opens up for me and it reminds me of every time I've sat down to learn a piece of music you know I'm one of those people now that I can sit there and I can sit with 10 notes and play them over and over and each time I indulge in the beautiful sound that they create I don't get bored of it you know, and sometimes I'll just sit with a piece that can be a hundred bars long, it doesn't matter, but I'll just sit with the first ten or the middle ten because there's a sound there that's different to the rest of the piece and just how the two come together, the two hands. It's just bliss. And I've approached this book in the same way and it's the first time I've done that. You know, where each paragraph to me, I can read it over four, five, six times and each time something beautiful comes out. I think one of the most insightful lines for me out of the book, and I keep repeating it in my head, and it keeps me centered, is to accept each moment as if you had chosen it. I find that so deep and so beautiful and so simple to accept each moment as it is. You know, up until now, I didn't realize, you know, the, I hear the word resistance and I hear all these words. I didn't realize what they meant until I started reading this book. When we're living in the future, you know, we're constantly with these goals, these dreams of things in the future to have a better house, to have a better car, to have whatever it is. It's because we're not happy with what we've got right now in front of us. We're not happy with the house we've got now. We're not happy with the car we've got now, in this very moment. And yet we have a car now and we have a house now. You know, why not be grateful that we have those things? Because I know, I honestly know with my heart that having the most beautiful house is not the answer. I saw my parents. My dad spent years, weekends, for years and years with my uncles, building the dream home for my parents. It was beautiful, but we only lived in it for five years. And at the end of that, mum and dad were sick. Dad had had his first massive heart attack. He was so stressed all the time. Everything fell on him. He was the only one working at the time. And they were trying to send me to private school because they thought that was better and it was really expensive. It was one of the most expensive private schools in Sydney at the time. But they thought I needed that. They thought that they were giving me the best, you know? And mum by that stage had chronic back pain. There were, you know, there were days she could hardly walk from the pain. They were both struggling with their health because they found it so stressful to keep up here, you know, to keep up with this lifestyle in Australia. But by that stage, as I say, we had our dream home. It was huge. It was more massive than anything else we'd seen at the time. I mean, now in comparison, it's just normal. 
you know, because people make these huge mansions now to live in, you know, with the 10 bedrooms and the three bathrooms, five bathrooms, whatever it is, you know. People live in this now, but in that day, when my parents made it, it was not a common place, you know. It was yeah, extraordinary what they had created. But yet at the end of it, when they should have had peace and they should have had joy and that should have been it, they were both sick and miserable because of the lack of money, because they were always behind with money, because of that mentality, you know, that there was never enough. And so they sold everything and went overseas. So the answer is not there. The answer is not in when you have a better house. It's not in when you have a better car. The answers are not there. And the problem with always being out there is what I realized through this book, because I keep doing that. It's a pattern that we've all gotten into. I don't know how, it's like an epidemic. Everyone's in that mindset of always in the future, of looking at the future is better. What's in the future is always better than what you have right here, right now. And so because we're living there, <laughs> we're not here. We're not here, we're not present to what is unfolding, what is happening right in front of you. You're not fully present to what's going on here because your mind is way, way over there, already plotting the future. All these things that you're gonna have that are gonna make you so incredibly happy that you won't need anything else. But you're missing it all. You're missing it all because that will come. You will have all that and then what? And then what? I've had all those experiences. I've had them all and I've been to help I've been to houses that have been amazing and yet the people living in there are miserable. You know, I think to myself, wow, if I lived there, I'd be so happy. There's all these rooms and all these bedrooms and they've got a pool and, and yet the people living there were so unhappy. They hated each other. <sighs> they never had anything nice to say to each other. They were so unhappy. You know, so the insight, what I've learnt from my last breakthrough is that we have forgotten to live in how, how to live. We've forgotten how to live in this moment that is all we have. Because like I've said many times before, that that you worry about in the future or that that you're aspiring to in the future, that may never come. This may be your last moment and that's it. You don't know when it's your time. I don't know when it's mine. This moment is all you've got. Right here and right now. So where are you in this moment? Are you right here, right now? Or is your mind already wandering forwards and backwards and everywhere else but here where you are right now? Because this is all you have. This is your gift, this present moment. To be present in this present moment is to be awake. All right, my darlings. I love you guys. Remember to click like and subscribe below so you don't miss any of the messages. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.